In this video, we're going to be talking about the Gold Coast and what is it like to live and work here. So let's get started. Okay, let me give you a brief overview about Gold Coast. Gold Coast is now the fifth largest city in Australia and currently the Gold Coast is home to almost 700,000 people. And you probably heard that this city is very popular for its amazing beach lifestyle, but it's also very well known for its cultural diversity. An interesting fact is that one out of three people living in the Gold Coast was born overseas. So yes, it's a very, very multicultural city. Now let's talk about working in the Gold Coast. There are around 378,200 people employed in this city. And the industries that employ the most workers are the healthcare and social assistance sectors, retail trade, accommodation and food services, professional scientific and technical services, and construction. And the most popular occupations in the Gold Coast are professionals, so people working in professional services, technicians and trade workers, clerical and administrative workers, managers, and sales workers. And you might be interested to know that the industries with highest projected growth in the Gold Coast are the healthcare and social assistance sectors, professional scientific and technical services, retail trade, education and training, and accommodation and food services. And if you've seen my other videos on the Australian labor market, you probably saw as well that the healthcare and social assistance sectors are the highest growing industries in Australia as a whole. The unemployment rate in the Gold Coast is only 2.1%, so a very, very low unemployment rate. And the average annual salary in the Gold Coast is between 57,162 Australian dollars per year and 71,586 Australian dollars per year. Okay, if you're an international student interested in coming to Australia, specifically to the Gold Coast to study, something that you should know is that the main universities in the Gold Coast are Griffith University, Bond University and Southern Cross University. And of course, as I said in other videos, if you're interested in pursuing vocational education and training qualifications, you may look at TAFE institutes. I have a whole video explaining the higher education system here in Australia, so I highly recommend taking that out. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Now, in terms of tuition fees for international students, you can expect to pay a bit over 20,000 Australian dollars per year for each academic year. Now, lifestyle and cost of living in the Gold Coast. Something that you should know is that since the pandemic, more and more people have been moving to the Gold Coast and this city has actually become one of the fastest growing cities in the country. But the dark side of this population growth is that rent prices have skyrocketed to the point where people living in the Gold Coast today they pay more rent than the average Australian. Because of this, rent prices are pretty high and you can expect to pay around $450 per week on rent for a one bedroom unit and over 650 Australian dollars per week for a three bedroom house. Now let's talk about the weather in the Gold Coast. Gold Coast is well known for its very warm, humid weather with July and June being the coldest months in this city and January and February the hottest but also the wettest months with a very subtropical kind of weather. Does Gold Coast have beaches? Of course it does. <laughs> it's actually very well known for its amazing beach lifestyle. Some of the most popular beaches in the Gold Coast are Main Beach, Bali Heads, Kulangara Beach and others. So if you love living by the water and going for a surf and a very laid back kind of lifestyle, Gold Coast is an amazing, amazing choice. Apart from its amazing beach lifestyle and laid back lifestyle, Gold Coast is also very well known for its huge range of entertainment options. An interesting fact is that the Gold Coast is actually the city where most Australian high school graduates go to celebrate their schoolies week. And if you're not familiar with what schoolies is, this is basically a tradition here in Australia where high school graduates go on holidays for a week after the final exams to celebrate the end of secondary school. 
So if you're looking for amazing entertainment options and restaurants and nightlife, Gold Coast has a lot of activities to offer and the most popular spots for those kind of activities are Surfer's Paradise, Mermaid Beach and Broad Beach. Bear in mind though that these are very, very touristic areas. So if you're not a fan of big crowds, perhaps it's best to avoid them. <laughs> At the same time, it's a must in the Gold Coast. So yeah, just go for a little walk, enjoy and then go back. Now, public transport. Surprisingly, the Gold Coast is very, very well connected. And I say surprisingly because before going to the Gold Coast for the first time, I thought that I was going to see cars absolutely everywhere, which is kind of the case. But at the same time, public transport is really, really good. You have a wide range of options from buses to trains, trams, as well as scooters, bicycles. So the city itself is very well connected. Okay, what's my final conclusion about the Gold Coast? In my personal opinion, I think Gold Coast is an amazing choice if you are a young professional or perhaps a backpacker looking to live by the water and looking for a laid-back kind of lifestyle and if you love surfing love the ocean the Gold Coast is a no-brainer really and of course if you are a retired person as well the Gold Coast is an amazing choice too now if you want to know a bit more about living in Australia working here in Australia watch these videos here I have a full library of videos about absolutely everything related related to settling in Australia, so have a look. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, please like and subscribe to keep supporting the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.